Hey, here with Chris Shields, who's uh, we're very pleased to announce his uh, extended his contract, committed his long-term future to the club. Chris, how pleased are you with the news? Yeah, happy. It's something I wanted to get done in the past few weeks. So just with the kind of schedule, we were waiting to get that out of the way, and then it seemed like the right time to do it. So happy to get it done. Brilliant. Um, I've been an integral part of the squad for a long period of time now. That they were John as senior member of the squad, but um, increasingly influential role in the team, and recently won Player of the Year for the PFA, uh, the SSE at Tristy League. Um, how do you feel you've developed as a player during your time here? Yeah, it seems to get. You know, we've had great years here with the the club, winning many things, leagues, cups, and all. You win as a team, so it was nice to pick up a little individual one along the way, but. Progression as a player, I suppose, it only uh, helps with the players around you. And we've always had a fantastic squad here, and privileged to be part of it, and happy to continue it now. Brilliant. How do you feel this squad is shaping up now with a, well, a couple of injuries at the start of the season, obviously, but we're getting close back to full strength. How do you feel this squad shapes up to previous ones that you've been involved in? Yeah, strong squads. You know, um, we've uh, Vinny, and Vinny, Stevie, John, and Higgs done a great job in recruitment there in the off season. You know, it's hard to keep a strong squad at a club like this, and. I think we have done that. We were unlucky with injuries at the start of the year, like some myself, Robbie Benson, Fats, Stephen Fall, and like just unlucky things. And sometimes it happens like this. But we're coming back in slowly but surely. We've had myself and Fats back in recent weeks, and Robbie's not too far away, and either is Stephen. So it's good that we're getting the players back on the pitch now, and it just shows the strength of the squad that we were able to cope for long periods without players like that of that magnitude. Yeah, as you say, it was a sticky period, but um, three wins on the bench now, and. Big game coming up on Friday, the League of Leaders, Comitorial Park. Looking forward to the Rovers game? Yeah, I can't wait for it now. You know, it was uh, it was important we got the three wins on the bounce after two defeats on the bounce. You know, we're not used to that. But I think the whole squad showed great character because uh, it's been a lot of players been in and out of the team and things like that. We showed great uh, resilience to come back and get the three point, um, three wins on, on the trot because it was a tough game against Bowers. Finn Harp's never easy game. And then Atten can happen down in UCD away, so it was an important win and it showed we're uh, slowly but surely getting back to our ways. Expect a big crowd here on Friday night. Must be the sort of games you look forward to most. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, they're coming thick and fast this month, but this is the one that we, you know, you have the eye on. Rovers have had a good start to this season, and I'm sure, pretty sure this place will be packed on Friday. So it's one to relish, and we can't wait to get going.